Elon Musk, who I'm a big fan. I drive a Tesla. Yep. I was in a Tesla. I spun out in a Tesla going 85 on the highway, hit Terrifying. a barbell. Saved my life, that car. So I am forever indebted to Elon Musk and the engineers of Tesla because I would not be here right now if I was driving any other vehicle. I firmly believe that. Went out and bought another Tesla after I wrecked that one. Wow. I love his products. I love what he does with X. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Neuralink stuff, mostly because I don't understand it. Right. So here to help us with mm -hmm. that yeah. is Brady, who's going to talk about Elon Musk's Neuralink going live with the first human trials. Well, I read about it yesterday because I'm a huge fan of Elon Musk. Like you said, I don't drive a Tesla. I have a Jeep Compass, but that's here nor there. Um, but I was reading about this yesterday, and I was a huge fan of a show called Black Mirror. Okay, so Black Mirror is about kind of Black Mirror is kind of like. Um, it's kind of like Twilight Zone on steroids. Remember, love, the, remember, okay. the, remember the yeah. show Twilight Zone? Have you ever well, seen I Twilight like, Zone? I like Twilight Zone and I like steroids. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Just joking. This segment is for you, my friend. Uh, but I read this and I thought, um, I thought, where are we going with this Neuralink stuff? Because Ray-Ban came out with their glasses and I did a little thing about it and put it on Instagram and it kind of went viral. And it was about... What is what are they trying to do with these uh, like Ray-Ban glasses, for instance? You can you can record stuff with these glasses. You can play music. You can do a bunch of different stuff with these Ray-Ban glasses. What what that I think does is it's getting people programmed into thinking it's okay to start using our our bodies as robots, basically. In terms of like uh, Amazon's coming out with those scanners now that you can scan your palm, you can go in and you can buy food and stuff like that, it's right? It's very convenient. Why it's would, super why convenient because guess what? The other day I was trying to get on my Chase bank account and I couldn't even do that because I couldn't remember my damn password. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, so what Elon Musk has done is he, he successfully just put in the new chip. He put a chip into a, a human, first human brain and it's, wow. it, it's fully functioning and everything. So. Um, it got me thinking with Black Mirror, with this picture right here. There's an episode in Black Mirror called The Entire History of You. And this episode takes place this in 20... This zero? Yeah, basically, but it takes place in 2050. And the implant um, is this implant, it's called the grain. And it records all your memories. Terrifying. <laughs> uh, terrifying. So... I looked up Black Mirror and Elon Musk. Well, just so happens, Elon Musk got the idea from sort of Black Mirror in a way. Wow. He also got, a, he got the idea from Twilight Zone. He got the idea because um, what's more convenient uh, than not having cards on you, not having glasses on you? How can we make life just easier? And this is where he came up with the Neuralink. Hmm. So he said the other day, because they, they were asking questions, he said, um, I think the future, you'll be able to save your memories um, obviously, this sounds increasingly like a Black Mirror episode. He goes, but he goes, he goes, I guess they're pretty good at predicting, which I'm like, what? Well, you saw the episode, so how is it predicting? The question did bring to mind the Black Mirror episode, the entire history of you, which featured characters who are able to record and review all the memories with disastrous consequences. Viva, when you go home, watch this episode. It's terrifyingly predictable to where we're headed for the future. Um, he said, after his meditation about Black Mirror, Musk went on to speculate that the technology could eventually be used for mind transfer. What? Mm -hmm. You could upload, you could basically store your memories as a backup and restore the memories, and ultimately you could potentially download them into a new body or a robot body. <laughs> Musk said, the future's going to be weird. No shit, dude. Because he goes, he goes, here's some of the pros of the product. People that are blind will be able to see again. That's pretty cool, That's good. right? That's super beneficial. Um, people that are colorblind will be able to see color again. Adorable, right? Also, people will have the power to speak telepathically. So if you, I go like this, I'm like, telepathically? I'm like, what if I'm on a date with my, my wife or, or a girlfriend or something, and I see a hot girl, she's <laughs> over here, and she's got the same thing that I got, and I'm like this, I'm talking to you, and I'm like, yep. What's your name? <laughs> right, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? That's You're just going like, to get slapped telepathically. But as a comedian's <laughs> brain, I'm like, you could literally cheat on your wife and she would have no clue. But she might have a clue because you're recording everything, right? Oh, she could oh, download. Oh, she'll check your hard drive. 100%. <laughs> yeah, and that's what, the, that. that's what the Black Mirror show was about. That's what it was all about. As he suspected his wife cheating on him, she was like, no, I'm not cheating on you. But she was the whole time cheating on him. Mm. And he played back her... her, her um, her Neuralink or whatever, her grain it was called, while she was sleeping. And he was literally scrolling through her memories oh. as she was sleeping. Also, when they were hooking up, I'll get back to this, but when they were hooking up, he was thinking of someone else with his memories and she was thinking of someone else. And she was literally watching her memories of her hooking up oh. with her ex. 
Oh, wow. How crazy is that? I mean, we do that already. <laughs> I mean, oh, I've always, I mean, first of all, it's fascinating. And, and the idea that, you know, it, we always thought for paralyzed people, if they can control uh, prosthetic limbs with the thought of their brain, mm. that's obviously where the science should go. I understand all of these potential catastrophic uh, or at well, least really, really wild ways it can go. But one thing, if, if we could ever get to this, like print up photographs of dreams, yeah. or at least record dreams, already on I'd it. be down. They're already doing that. They're already doing that. They can already predict your dreams now. They can already predict your dreams. But here, so we'll, we'll go another, um, we'll keep going. Oh, so, going to, actually, I just want to put a pause. Sure. I'm joking, by the way, about being down with that. And oh, when I, I was going to say. I, when I, I don't want anyone to take that I was like, context. I'm not down with that. And, and when, I, when I made the joke about how convenient, you know, it is to like swipe your hand and get your groceries. Well, as convenient as it is to do that, it's going to be just as easy for yeah. you to turn it off. If so. you saw my dreams, I'd be in jail right now. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, with that said, uh, the, he also said you'll never have to study anything you'll just to learn it. So bye bye books. Hello Neo from the Matrix. Okay. Basically, also you can um, it can prevent certain diseases. So it can find out like if you're starting to like get cancer cells or stuff like that, it'll, it'll prevent that. So also they this is um, they did this to animals. They did this to lizards, snakes, fish, rabbits, rabbits, and even turtles. Tortoises are often microchipped. Outside of pets, however, most livestock are microchipped to help trace the providence of particular animals, animals, monitor health, and avoid the spread of disease. This was March 31st, 2022. And I was like, I was like, that's well, that's what they're gonna start doing to us, is they're gonna start monitoring everything. So here's the negative effects. Big brother will be able to see and record all your thoughts. Oh, it's, it's gonna be minority report thought Correct. crime or Correct. Petty crime. And can you hit the kill switch if you want this person to go away? No, but also if you uh, if they can turn your probably turn your car off if you yeah. if you have negative thoughts, that's where that guy from the World Economic but Forum you, is going. The bald headed dude. Uh right. Yuval Harari. That's I, I, where I, he's I, at. I wanted to bring this guy up because his whole thing for decades yep. has been we gotta we we can one day transcend humanity. We can just turn everybody into a computer. Yep. Just everyone will have you know, essentially a mechanical or digital body. We will be thinking machines. This guy's bananas, with our, dude. Right, no, I've seen, we've yeah. seen the clips of Where it's uh, like, yeah. you know, Klaus Schwab is a well-intended idiot. Yuval Harari might actually be a demon in human form who wants to turn everybody he into a computer. Is. And for Elon Musk, who is typically, you know, this celebrity among right-wingers of, yeah, he's pro-free speech. He's well, pro, like, all this stuff. Then with this, yeah. Kind of so like they've the done this. They've questions. done this to animals. Oh yeah, so they've done this to animals. They just what did it to a person? As what do they do? They're, they're recording the animal's memory, they, or they, no? Basically, they put the sensors brain. into the animals and they study their they study their, their patterns basically. Patterns. Their brain um, pattern, or yeah, where they everything, went. Everything, how they eat, how they how they socialize, and and, and yeah, it's like they and do can it with they rats record and through their eyeball and like watch what they saw. Before put it in their this little implant, little chips in their brain. It is interesting that coupling this with the idea that uh, Elon doesn't think that there's an overpopulation problem. He thinks there's an underpopulation problem. Yeah. It, let us have and, and then I, I would I don't believe in population reduction, but I no. do think at some point you get to a critical too many people on Earth. Sure. You been, have you been to the airport recently? Yeah. Uh, dude, 100%. I, 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 yeah. But the idea that you We're could there. get to a world now where I mean it's going to go to like not what's the word I'm looking for not AI but um, the Oculus Rift uh, virtual reality. Uh, augmented, yep. where, you, augmented, where you're going to you can have people just living lives that feel and seem as full as regular That's what life. they want. They, they're and going ship, for... Ship them, to, ship them to Mars. And so that way, in the nine months that they're in travel, they're living their lives normally, and this is how you populate space. I see where he's going with this. Right. The World Economic Forum Duke professor said, and I quote, Mia Far Faroni, in the very near future, very near future, well, we will have sensors in every ear to monitor your brain waves and patterns. Mm. So I read, thought this was interesting. Ben Franklin said, those who give up essential liberty to purchase temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Oh, that's the Patriot Act. I fell for that one. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, go ahead. I don't care. I'm not hiding anything. I want to catch a terrorist and knock down those towers. Right. Yeah. Well, guess what? You give up that liberty for safety, and yep. look what happens. 30 years later, totally. all of our shit's monitored. Right. Now that you sit here questioning Returning. whether it was actually people who knocked down the towers, I didn't say that, did I? But you know what? I was. I, but, but I'll leave on this. I'll leave on this. Um, so, I was looking all this stuff up and getting research and stuff, and out of nowhere, this pops up. Can you pull up that girl, Kelly, with the phone? This chick. I was like, oh, she's pretty hot. And then I read. That's literally what I thought too. I was reading the thing, and it says. A bill that paves the way, they're just a mandatory, a bill that paves the way for mandatory digital IDs is advancing in Florida State's legislature. And I was like, the legislature sleep, seeks to ban children under 16 years old from using social media. On the service, the bill states that it is aimed at protecting the privacy and well being of minors by restricting social media to those age 16 and over. Anyways, I'm saying, so where we're headed is it's all digital, everything will be controlled by Big Brother. 
Uh, my question to you guys is, where do we go as a society? Do we roll over and let this happen, or do we revolt like some Terminator shit? You, you the Terminators to, are coming for how us. Do we, how do you combat this? You got to stop being afraid of having people call you a caveman, or of living in the past, or of you know being afraid of progress. Like, it's not a bad or antiquated thing to not want a computer chip in your brain. Like, and that shouldn't be particularly controversial. And yes, it would be. Is that the mark to... of the beast, though, or is that in your hand? Well, I mean, I, and I, now I do listen to a lot of Rogan while I go jogging in the morning, and he talks about like whether or not some people don't want this and are scared of it. There's going to be people like, yeah, hook this mm -hmm. chip oh, up so sure. I can search in real time and I can make everyone else look stupid. But Viva, that's the same thing with your phone when you, you're like, I'm gonna put my face on it, and then five years later, you're like, all right, I'll do it just fine. Well, it, it, or my finger, it, or stuff like that. No, absolutely. And, and people freaking out about some of the, you know, like, oh, you gotta, you gotta register to go over. Like, I, they take retinal scans when you cross from Canada to the U.S. So they've got all of your rectal biometrics. Or yeah. re Did I say retinal yeah. or rectal? Oh, oh, I, yeah. I, I, I heard rectal. I heard rectal. I heard rectal. I heard rectal. That's a but weird no, way to get the gun. No, they have, they have clear service, and That's I have to go it. into Canada. They have yeah. clear service. <laughs> yeah. They have this thing called clear, and you stand there, and you go like this, and you come back, and they scan your eyeballs. Yeah. They're doing it for Spirit Airlines. I don't know who flies it, but uh, mm -hmm. no, I'm just joking. But <laughs> it, it is no, but it is going to be interesting as to where people are going to use this to augment their own uh, weaknesses. I mean, right. There, there's, but at some point also, um, it's there's, you can't fight this tide. No. At some point, it's going to people are going to do it, and those who don't do it are going to be the inferior subspecies who right. can't you know instantaneously come up with information. I'd love to know who the first person is that got this implanted in them. Oh, like, for sure. I would think if I'm Elon Musk, and I know he didn't form Tesla, but he joined Tesla very early on and helped progress it to the stages where they put the cars out and then Cybertruck. I'm, I'm Elon Musk, right? First thing I do when Cybertruck comes out, I got Cybertruck number one. I'm Elon Musk, new Tesla model comes out. I'm I. I own that one. Is he going to get the brain chi chip? I think right. he, he, yeah. he did, No, he, he did say that he'll be among the first, I thought, in, in prior interviews. I thought he I said that about that. going to space. I thought he said going to Mars, his goal was to reach Mars, and he'd be one of the first people that would go. But if you're going to create this kind of technology that's going to change humanity, it would help sell it to people a little bit better if you got it yourself. Or what happens when the robot takes over? You implant your memories in the robot, and the robot overrides you and is like, you're going to be doing this now. And you're just like, you can't shut. You're like paralyzed in the body because there was a robot in Tesla that beat up the engineer <laughs> that was designing it. Did what, what, you hear about that? Yeah, it, it, it assaulted. It was the yeah. first robot. I also read about the robots in China that killed them all with, well, with you got, uh, lead bullets. What's it going to do to the practice of law? There's a defense in law called automatism. Like if you are... Mm -hmm. You're out of your your wits and you do something you're not responsible. Hey, we're gonna have robotism defenses in the future. <laughs> I didn't do it. The chip made me do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep. Uh, so that'll be weird. Yeah, that will be. That's crazy. our future. What a weird yep. twenty. Because I mean, the advent of AI was I mean re, re, last year, right? That's when AI came into everybody was able to use it. Right. You were you able to use ChatGPT to write a book report or whatever you do. Yep. And then all of a sudden we went from. I, I want to say it was probably the middle of last year, 2023. You fast forward nine months, and now we're at brain implant chips. Totally. Where are we going to be at tw the end of 2024, 2030, 2025? I think 2030 people are going to go terrifying. in with their limbs, and you're going to make a decision. Do you want to chop off your arm and do the new Apple arm or the Samsung arm because it's stronger, it's more powerful? <laughs> what do you have, the T-Mobile arm? And <laughs> sometimes, it works, and sometimes it doesn't work. But yeah, yeah, you're like, <laughs> that, that might sound crazy to some people, but you've already got your femoral, your femoral, or extensions for people who think they're too short. Uh, you can do that. I, I, might, I, might, I might want to. Or you can get the round Gs. You can get the round Gs and get the, right. the heel plans. Lady plans. boots? Yeah, yeah, lady boots. I mean, if they were putting Luke Skywalker level robot arms on the market tomorrow, I'd contemplate losing an arm tonight just to get one. No way. Because you'd become cool. cyborg. You'd cut off that arm no, but to it, have a cool. That would be like, pretty cool. You, you can punch through solid concrete with this robot arm. So I'd at least consider it because that's cool. And the think problem of the attachments is, on a date yeah, night. It's what else you got to do with it. That's would the problem. Would you get the Neuralink? No. And I, you know, I, I, you know, I'd you, probably decide against cutting off my own arm too. You don't I'd mess least, with your brain. I mean, you, know, you, you don't mess with your brain. Don't put stuff. The in only there. thing I ever wanted, which I think is a good thing, is like the 24/7 HD video recording because things happen that are just amazingly hilarious. I'm like, damn, why wasn't I recording that? Well, I mean, the sure. legal applications of that too would suddenly eyewitness testimony wouldn't be unreliable anymore. You could just okay play back that guy's video perspective yeah. and see what he see what he saw, but it's 
all the other uses for it, like Brady was talking about, that will probably well, It's going to fundamentally reshape also human interactions, where you, might, sure. you, you might have overpopulation problems now, but if people don't really feel the actual biogenetic need to go out and reproduce, meet people in real life, because they can fabricate those memories through, art, you know, not AI, but keep, uh, virtual reality. Yeah. yeah. Well, there'll be a population crash at some point, because people just stop going out and having babies. 100%. Well, and th there are always those people who are resistant to change, and sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good. Like, if you resisted you know, embracing the wheel when it was first invented. Mm -hmm. You were living in the past. But there's a difference between rejecting the wheel and fire and rejecting a computer chip in your, in your brain. Um, but like Viva mentioned, I, I, when I was in high school, was one of the only kids in my class who did not have an iPhone for the first couple years. And then suddenly it's, uh, the teacher would just be like, okay, pull out your iPhone and Google this. I'm like, well, I don't have a phone that can go on the internet. And I was the one stuck in the past. And mm -hmm. I was really happy when I got the iPhone. And it's that same mentality that's going to get everybody to, all right, well, I'll put the chip in and then I'll get the robot arms and then I'll, yeah, sure, replace my spine with nanobots or whatever. We're all doing it. You got to yeah. do it. Everybody's just, doing just, it. Just got to stick with it, you know?